Hello, so happy you could join me on this beautiful day. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. What I got going on here today is a pre-stretched canvas 16 by 20. What I did was I spray painted it with your local hardware or hobby shop paint. The blues, some yellows, maybe some purples in the sky. I thought maybe I'd do a pastel beach scene. Maybe with some sand coming down palm trees, a couple waves coming in. What I did then was I covered it with a thin coat of liquid clear which is going to allow that oils to go on a lot smoother and make it a lot easier to paint. And what I found out too from doing it this way is that your oil paints dry a lot quicker when you use the spray paint first and then you put on your, uh, your liquid clear. So I'd like to start off by saying special thanks to all my viewers and all my subscribers. I really do appreciate it. And uh, all the comments that you've made, they were all really nice. And I always try to respond back as uh, quickly as I can. So this is where I'm at so far. So if you want to paint along with me, let's get started. I think we're going to start out with some fan brush just like that and we'll go on to some cloud color titanium white and some liquid clear because a thin paint sticks to a thick paint every time just load it up just like that oh who knows maybe we got something happening over here leave some dark areas, some light areas in there. Because that's the way it looks in nature. Maybe it goes all the way down here. Right into the yellow. Right into the yellow. Load up some more paint. Maybe come in here. doing all kinds of things up in the sun right where the sun would be now we'll take the blender brush we'll come in and tap this just tapping it here and there here. Step back, take a look at it. Knock off the excess. I'm going to come into this little chisel edge brush right across the edge here. Liquid clear and some white. Maybe a touch of yellow. Come in here and maybe put where the sun would be. The sun is going down. You can make almost a perfect circle by just using this brush here. you do is pull it and go hard all the way around. Just like that. Just like that. 
now we'll come into the same color. Come down here, right where underneath the right where it would be underwater. Whiter, lighter, whiter. Use it just a little bit. Now we'll come into some darker color. Use that same chisel edge. I'm going to clean that off just a little bit. I use odorless paint thinner. I'm going to come into some blues and some reds. Get a purple color. Just like that. Maybe we'll come in here and we'll tap in some lines up here. water lines off in the distance. We'll come back in and blend this in. Using the blender brush scraping it in. Really diffusing that. Really chopping off that line down. gaps in between. That gives the illusion of waves, different layers, different levels. Come right in, sharpen this just like that. That helps that centerpiece stand out more. Thunder brush again.
trying to really pull it. Really pull it. darker in here, help that reflection shine, stand out more. taking that much to uh, blend it in to get that look that we're looking for. Just keep going back and forth when you see something. Highlight through here using a palette knife, some yellow and white, titanium white. Cut a little roll of paint right off the top there. Just like that. Keep your lines as straight as you can. More so in the distance. It's kind of where it's popping right there. So you might find a little more. A little more right back there. Maybe, maybe, more, more purples. 
more purples, more purples, I think. away from the center that I just did because I don't want to miss that sheen up I got going on. What I think we might do is maybe have some clouds coming across in front there. So we'll take maybe some brown, a little bit of yellow. like that and maybe there's some clouds in here going right across in front of the in front of the sun some of that sun off of the other clouds. How it catches it. chisel brush. It's a nice brush to use that I found out. You can use it on everything just about. You can use it on palm trees and water. Maybe now we're going to come in and make some waves liquid clear and titanium white. Load it right up just like that. Maybe there's one in the back here. There is now. Maybe this one's starting to crash over right here. to the sun. I'll do all the waves first, then I'm going to come back in and make them darker, I believe. Maybe there's one right here. Coming right up. eye. Right where we want it. Maybe it comes right down. And it splashes down here. Who knows? That's 
some more weights. I'm going to tap this because this is where the foamy stuff is. It's where it's breaking. There's a little one, smaller wave, right down in front here that maybe crashed. Maybe it's kind of turning over right here. Maybe it goes up. Okay, clean that brush off. Just wiping it off. I'm going to come into the darker purples and blues. Just like that. And maybe we'll come in here and we'll start pulling down some waves, wave looks. shadowy look. Brush off. Come into some white. I'm going to blend this. I'm going to tap 
this out here. Maybe where that wave was breaking. Bring it out a little bit more. Highlight it. Maybe come into some yellows now. Whites. Yellow. Just like that. Maybe it comes right down. Maybe we've got something happening right there. Another little wave. Off. Go into some whites. Liquid clear. Start pulling some of this wave down here. Maybe it comes right up and it splashes up there. flashes up here. What I'm doing is tapping it, pushing down, right where I think it might have splashed. We'll come in and tap that in. We'll tap that in the blender brush and use the corner of it. take the head, edge of the two inch brush, load it up with some liquid clear and pull down one direction so you round off the edge. Just like that. You can come in and tap this. Kind of like what you would do with some bushes. the 
water line a little bit better. Maybe where it went up. Splashing. Let's turn it over. Just from taking that and just tapping it. Just tapping it like that. Get all that, all that look happening in there. Okay, I'm going to go into the some purple brush. Go into some purples again. I think I'm going to darken up this. Purples and blues. I want to darken up. This wave part back here. Darken the wave back there. Darken this one up here. Same color as blues. Blues and reds make a purple color. Leaving some, some areas in between because that makes it look like there's a little bit of water coming through there. Or splashing. It's coming over from that way up there. And that's what I see. So I'm going to grab some white here. And this wave comes right down. Right down in front of that one. So you kind of, as you go, you'll see things and just add them in. Maybe this goes right across. Add some more white here. Starting to break up here. Right where that hit, that really looks like it's reflecting off the top of that. And I really didn't have to do anything. <laughs> Happened automatically. coming off there too. I think what I'll do is pull it, pull up the palette knife, get a little roll of paint,
start pulling down the angles of the wave in here. Just kind of feathering this in here, blending that in right underneath that wave. two-inch brush here. Pull some of that back. Kind of purple it up. did is kind of took some of the stuff away. Some of the angles. I'm going to come in and pull this down. Leave that highlighted up there or it might be hitting. the light from there. Now we can come in here, grab some white, maybe some yellow, a palette knife, a little roll of paint, maybe right in here. some water coming in here. Maybe that's the maybe some white. right up with that chisel brush. Maybe it comes right across in front there.
the excess. And we're going to pull this back. Pull this back. Pulling right up from that white. Thinner, some purple color. I'm going to go right along that edge of that wave and highlight it. make it stand out. All the way back. We can even come into here if we wanted to highlight some of this too. Weights coming down too. All kinds of different things happening. Sandy, white sandy beaches. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to load up the fan brush and do it. Clean it off. Kind of 
come in to some white, yellow, try that out. Tune here, maybe we'll have something here. Tap this down. Tap it in. Get all kinds of little things happening in there. Going to some white and yellow again. here we use for the highlighting. Let's go into some liquid clear. Kind of diffuse that. Blues. it just pushing down
colors. Green. Liquid clear. Pulling it one direction. Maybe some black. Darken it up. Thin paint sticks to a thick paint every time. Roll that edge just like that. Kind of like what we did back here. But we're going to put some greenery things happening. Just by pushing up. Pull some more paint. Same direction. Who knows, maybe there's something right out here at the tip. Maybe we got something back here. Here and there. fan brush and fan some of this in. Make it look like it's part of the part of the beach area. Pulling, pulling it down. Maybe it goes back up. kinds of things happening on the beach. I like that, just like that. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to put a palm tree in. I use the same brush here. Go into some dark colors. Browns and some black. Darken it up. Just like that. And we'll come down here and determine what we want our palm tree to be. Maybe it goes right down here. thicker get some dark color on that brush round off the edge put this right in set it right in Set it right into the landscaping. Pull this down. Right, come right down on the beach. Get that beachy look. Okay, clean that brush off.
Get into some mostly white, I think. Because what we want to do is highlight that tree. So pull some white right across the edge. Just like that on one side. We'll come in here and tap this. every so often. All the way up. Wipe it off. Just to one side. Now we're going to pull in it. Round the tree. Just the way we think, the way we might think it might look. Grab some more white. Highlight it a little bit more. Since that light is popping from over there. Green's going, some blacks, browns, liquid, clear. Come into some palm colors, palm tree color. Same chiseled edge, same paintbrush. doing is tapping. Tapping back and forth. For as big as you want the leaves to be, that's how much you tap. Just keep tapping out. you think. That's the winds blowing that one up.
all I'm doing is tapping to get that look. Add some more liquid clear. almost tell when they start to run out of the liquid clear. If you don't have the sharp edge on your brush anymore. Just filling that in up there. Well, we'll add some seagulls and we'll call it a completed painting. A little bit of black and white. Paint thinner. Liquid white. Maybe they're right here by the sun. One there. One there. Maybe one here. Close together. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and sign this. Sign it as a completed painting. I think I'm going to go into some blue, so darker blues. Sign it in the corner here. I also like putting the year that I painted it. I like using my last name. Some people like using their initials. You can use whatever you choose. I hope you enjoyed this one. This one is a little bit different. I really like coming into the beach scenes like this. Pulling everything back like that. It really makes it look real. Like it sets it right in. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. But I'll tell you what. Before we get finished here. That I'm going to load that take this palette knife. We can come in here, since we got the colors on the back, you might not be able to see it at home. Scraping some twigs and branches. Just using the edge of this. Well, that's it. You can keep going along at home as you choose. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back and see me. Have a nice day.